joint lobes um, from a patient that has a thoracic strain. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to palpate the spine's processes. So we'll start at C7, drop down, go to T1. So I'm on the spinous process of T1 right now. And then I'm going to slide about a thumb's width off of the spinous process to hit the transverse process. And then I'm going to have my hand kind of separated, kind of just cupping that spinous process, trying to hit the transverse process. And I'm going to use my other hand to dig my finger down and try and hit those transverse processes to get them to, to shift and get some more movement in that thoracic spine. So it's going to be um, phase one will be just kind of like a one to a two, just to kind of get that pain reduction. We can ease this into phase two just by doing like a three or a four. So going a little deeper, trying to get some more mobility in it. And then we can also do some spring tests. So just find the spine's process, jump off into the joint space, use your top hand to just push down Again, a one to two for phase one, a three to four for phase two, just to start working in some of that joint mobility and start decreasing. Some mobility exercises with our patient who has a thoracic sprain strain. So this exercise that we're gonna do is an exercise that can be done end of phase one, beginning of phase two. So what I'm gonna have my patient do is He's gonna be seated. He's gonna put his hands over his cerebral spine to lock that in. And then he's gonna sit up straight and he's gonna laterally flex to the side. All right, as far as he can without any pain. And the, this is something he can do in early phase two, end of phase one. Um, to progress it, we can have him do the same lateral flexion and add rotation to that. So that we can add a little more end of phase two. Um, in terms of sets and reps, we'd start out with two sets of eight and then progress that to three sets of 10. Something we can also do to make um, a little more challenging is we can have a foam roller in between the patient's legs that way it locks in the hips as he's doing the movement that way it's more of his spine being in control and not as much hip movement is going on hi my name is bailey this is my pa patient brennan we are going to be going over phase three into a progression of phase four for thoracic sprain strain what i'm going to have my patient do is i'm going to have my patient sit on this um Gauzy ball. Um, the legs are going to be together and extended to activate the core. I'm gonna give my patient a weighted bar and what he's going to do is he's gonna lift his legs up to activate that core. And he's going to go ahead and extend his arms out and extend it back in a kind of rolling pattern. Just like how he would if he was um, practicing. Good. And the progression to this exercise is uh, Brendan's gonna lift his legs up and then he's going to start rowing to activate that core, keep your head forward. There you go, you're doing great.